It's what daily lifestyle is brought to you by KFC. It's finger licking good. And welcome, we're going to be back here again on the screen on your phone, on your computers. We are a certain lifestyle king of the show today. That's going to Dr. Shakes. Now, come back with the comedy in the country. They are still got that much, but but come here with a bang, banding. But now, much as it's a secret, like Dr. Shakes with a meme. I'm going to say, I will say, I'm a meme. It's memes. So, he'll tell us more about that, please. So, a comedy is what it seems to be growing. It's a cool level of going on, but today, go na labo kai, especially guys. Um, yeah, like he shagged my females. We've got guys, and they're taking it to another level. Right next to me, in a doctor shakes. What's like a normal pack? The lamb, okay? Hi, shakes. Hi, Wizard. I'm good, Wizard. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, thanks for coming. It's what in a lifestyle. Um. Take us through your journey of comedy, especially in the country of Eswatini. Uh, I comedy in 2014. Okay. And then uh, professionally. Oh, you're uh, professional now. Shoot. He's professional <laughs> now. I think he's professional <laughs> now. <laughs> come on, come on. Men's international now. Okay, yeah. okay. So professionally, it started 2015. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, there was a competition called LOL, mm -hmm. which was a stepping stone for me. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot, even though I never won the competition. <laughs> but then, yeah, as I said, it was a stepping stone. My phones are other things, yeah. All right. Um, because here, so that's the last time I see something a body shakes like this. First of all, that's the thing. I don't need. I want to go to the shop and First of all. Uh, you people and it's my memes. Yeah. It's not memes. Oh God, yes, so good. Why did I never have a bit of Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi, wifi. Hey, no. It's Wi-Fi. It? Huh. It's memes. <laughs> <laughs> so you really so good at booking. No. And the egos. It's a free class. It's okay. 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 All right. When did you start the memes? <laughs> <laughs> well, mm -hmm. uh, I started memes in 2017. Okay. Yeah, then they started trending in 2018. Why were you pushing this? Because good uh, trend, I don't think it's a trend. For as long as it's a trend, because one morning in South Africa, you yeah. can't trend in Swaziland. In Swaziland. Why? First of all. Okay, what is trending? What is trending? Good trend. Good say I upload something, mm -hmm. someone else sees it. They upload it. Come on, get hamba and jalous. But like, uh, it's not a food chain. It's not a cycle, because if it's a cycle, to come back. Okay, yeah, it's a cycle mm. because yeah, hamba, hamba, then it comes back to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'd say it's a cycle. Yeah. Food chain cycle, something like that. Because in the science I end, that's why I'm a doctor. Okay, thanks, Chase. Um, Wabona and uh, the need uh, you try you try to bring memes in the industry. Uh. No one was doing memes in the okay. Swatini. Okay. Okay. People were doing videos and all that. I've also done videos. Then mm -hmm. I was like, okay, there's an open market for memes because I'm kind of cool on social media. Oh, okay. And I follow people in South Africa most. Okay. Yeah. So but I saw. Good, growth, of course. Yes. Yeah. I saw good. Okay, now in South Africa, this is what's going. This is what's selling mm -hmm. for brands. Good. See, if you want to market something, this is what Bring it in this way. Exactly. Uh -huh. In Swaziland, it's nengenga ye data, data. Data. Is it not data? It's data. Okay, alright. Wi-Fi, data, let's keep it there, memes. Let's keep it there for now. Right, sure. Three, three new words for you, Nyan. Okay, I'm oh, learning, yeah. I'm learning. Yeah. And he, you are learning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, e, like, when she talks to e comedy, in poly, let's say, try to start in, where do you see it uh, in the near future? Um, seeing logo to ear cooler day by day in a certain special. Yeah, it's true, ear cooler day by day because my book are way back, way back. There were no comedians. Mm. If there mm. were, maybe mm. we were two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it wasn't that much funny. It, yeah, no. sure. It wasn't that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, funny, yes. <laughs> because I'm funny, man. Now that I'm there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that I'm there. Yes. Now it's funny. Uh -huh. Yes. 
I think in the next future, yabon, yabon is growing very, very big because yeah, I can say good in the entertainment industry, comedy is leading. Mm. When it comes to your music and everything, comedy is number one, and I can say good in the next two, three years down the line. Comedy will be selling. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um. Oh, festive season is kicking in, of course. Mm. Um. Yeah. What's new for you, especially? Mm. Festive season. That's when we are, we get like your busy corporate bookings and everything. You know, yeah. funny money. You know. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> you start driving. Levels, <laughs> levels. So. We everyone I'm on see just shift back from Emma shows and then we mm. focus on the corporates okay. and everything. Okay. Then we come back to about April oh, so because right. of January. Okay. Now talking over Oh yeah, speaking uh, about January is my birthday, guys. Oh shame. Yeah. Oh tell my present. Please anyway, talking about right. corporate uh, being used corporately, um like corporate company when I and uh, say you are taken by one corporate, na lolo mnyo kufuna kwa sababu kwenye kanga um yeah. Are you open? I'm open to okay. anything. I'm open to any corporate company. Mm. Hey guys, I'm open. <laughs> Even my bank account open. is open. <laughs> <laughs> and searching. <laughs> yes. So I can say if maybe agasha is under those corporate what what what. Maagasha is under. Mm. But like uh, if uh, you can't take a map bot network services, you wanna mm. you can't take what banking what what you wanna take one tick that network tick that banking tick that one Oh, I'm not fine. Not fine. Not fine. So see, we're going to 2019. So see, we're going to achieve anything. Ah, spotlight. Guys, I know. Nice. Yeah, fine shit. You've achieved. I've achieved. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mountain boy, like 2018, uh, I have things that I never had in 2021. Mm. This is a new bucket head, you? by the way. Can you? I've achieved. Yeah. This is a new head. Okay. All right. One, one. Yes. Next. <laughs> well, well, what do you want? Come what on. Else? What do you want? Jackets, too. Yes, even the jacket. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, I think. <sighs> Come on. You're going to petrol. What's your danger? Petrol. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to say that you're a tough man, guys. I'm going to say that you're a humbanati. Oh, my humbanati. Oh, my God. I'm going to say that pull up in a photo, Audi. I'm going to say that you're a man. I'm going to say that you're a man. I'm going to say that you're a man. I saw hold. So hold again. No, come on, no, no. Come on. Oh, go see when you tell about the demon. This is a shy society. So shy about the demon. This is a long hold. Come on. So it's got a car, guys. Because when you show you, I'm not paying you, Linje. Kusha mazuru. That's how they describe me. I'm not paying you, Linje. Yeah, go go go. You're shy. Okay, that's 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 really. It that's shows good. See, whatever we're doing, it's working. Mm -hmm. It's working. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's. Uh, so it's Valange. Um, what can you say to somebody? Because we've seen you guys have set the the pace up a la petul, and everyone now is a comedian, and okay. it's worrying me because they would go to a show, yabo shakes. They stole some jokes. They say so. Are you born with this thing or? No man, a cop and I mean, a comedian. You are born with this thing, okay? Yeah, I can okay. say you are born with this thing because good at class. I think you are born with this thing because no man, I'm not some slagging. I'm not but you're I'm not to cuss up me, whatever she's trying to. I mean, who called my cheese this thing? Okay, I'm going to take a long roast. Come on. I'm going to take a long roast. Yes, because we're in class, we're going to take a long roast. 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 In this comedy thing, you can steal the joke. See if you're more sure. Wow, it's funny. I'm going to take a long roast. 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 It will be the one who found this. Oh, never bad. Okay, okay, okay. So, we're going to encourage you to see. Now, 
nangabe le mtu ikopile iyekele nangabe ikopile iyekele awusikofani awusikofani right apart from apart from comedy do you have any qualifications? Because at some point, I mean, dude will get tired of you. Yes, yes, that's true. What's your plan yeah, for the future? Yeah, we'll get tired. Of I, uh, I'm a graduate. Oh, you're a graduate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a graduate. No, 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 Come on, come on now. Come on. Hey, <laughs> no. Come on. Thank you so much, Shake. Oh well, that was the toughest interview that I ever had with the comedian. I think I'm in Flag and Jingo and I'm in Flag. But I'm in the house. On this one, I would say now we're starting to I want to thank companies like Bar MTN that have unleashed beast among the youth, of course, because they're going to a youth on the spotlight. But Jenas, you've got talent, as I did have seen this, on the new neighboring countries and, of course, abroad. But what's the MTN now? So this weekend, we're going for the finale of the spotlight. And please, let's watch them while they prepare. And it's a bonny little talent, a little corner, but then, please enjoy. We are still trying to give you the behind the behind the scenes look to the spotlight, you know, the biggest competition that the land has seen thus far. So right now I've got the only female left in the top three. The only female, mind you, the only female in the top three, ladies and gentlemen. So how are you doing? Hi, I'm well, thanks. How are you? I am well, I am well. So um, how, now I want to find out, since you were there since the beginning, obviously, how's the journey been like? Now we're in the top three. Can you just... Give us a brief description of how the journey has been like. It's been amazing. I mean, it's been taxing in terms of energy, of course. You know, you have to give you all every time. But it's also been educative. I don't know if that's a word, but I've learned a lot. I've it's a new word we'll put in now inside yeah, Tripeed. It's okay. Don't say on some yeah. Oxford. But yeah, <laughs> um, I've learned a lot. Um, how to, you know, portray a message on stage, you know, taking care of your craft, your voice, it's an instrument. So yeah, um, what else have I learned? Yeah, it's just been emotional. It's definitely been emotional. I mean, the, the eliminations take a lot out of you and you have to bounce right back and go perform, you know, after such a whirlwind of emotion. So yeah, that's how it's okay. been. So now we are anticipating to see who's going to emerge the victor. Mm -hmm. So we don't know who's going to be, um, we, 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 even if we, we could know right now, we couldn't tell. I mean, we don't know, so we don't know. So I want to know, we'll see, what is your general feelings towards knowing what's okay, this is the end, this is the end of the road. So how are you feeling about that? Relieved in a way. <laughs> it's been a I was not expecting that. <laughs> it's been a very long journey. Um, so I'm relieved. I'm also excited and nervous. You know, I'm excited because you know God is good. You never know, like God could be like my child. Okay. But With those three emotions that you described, which one would be the ultimate best one or which one would be the number one of all those feelings you just expressed right now? Excitement. Okay. Definitely. I'm excited. The show's going to be amazing, the things that we're preparing to do. So I think just knowing that all oh, my words going to be a shutdown for real excites me. 
And so I'm with that one of the three uh, contestants who are who are actually gunning for the win, the title, and the car. You know, and all the the gimmicks that come with it, and all you know the the star status. Know what I mean? Uh, no, so 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 now, uh, you are on the verge of winning. You are on the verge of um, conquering all those obstacles that were put there and in front of you, and all those people that were there in front of you who might have. Um, thought they had a shot also but then here you are in the top three now how do you feel about that man i feel excited i am over the moon because man i, I never thought me as a rapper would get to this point so shout out to everybody watching at home for voting for me and making sure that this dream comes a, real, a reality for me yeah. okay so now what i want to understand is that okay you see that there were a lot of people in this contest in, the, in this contest basically there were like a whole lot of people and i, I saw them coming through in their thousands and thousands but then you are, you are part of the people the three people the three main people right now so with the people that didn't make it and you are a part of the people that made it now this at this very moment what is it that you would love actually it is actually going to be funny what would you like to say to the people that didn't make it um i would i would i would say don't stop believing do not stop uh following your dreams and just go hard on everything that you uh, that you love you know be it music painting or whatever dancing just go hard and never stop believing okay so now the finale is, is upon us now oh yeah we are we're about to see who's going to be crowned the winner yeah so how do you feel about that? And um, what is it that you actually like to say to the people out there before you get, you get on that stage and they announce the winner? All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So to everybody at home that, that is going to be watching the show or to everybody that is going to be there before the show, I would love to say thank you. Thank you to every single one of you for making my dream come true, for making me realize what I'm good at, for giving, giving me the opportunity to become better at what I do. So shout out to everybody. Eswatini, I love you guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I'm still dealing with the top three men, the final three men, the last three, <laughs> the, the, the last three contenders of the suspicious yeah, competition yeah. that MTN is, is, has for us, the spotlight competition, man. So right now, I'm with another brother of mine who is actually a rapper in the last three. So how are you doing, bro? I'm all good. Yourself? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm always <laughs> good. You know what I'm talking about, bro. Okay, so now you are on the precipice of actually achieving something that you were out to achieve in the first place, yeah? Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about that? Uh, I've come so close. Um, this is the goal that I set out back in when I started, like entered like the first auditions. So to come so far, it's like I'm almost there. I'm in four days close, only four days close. So, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited for the big stage. I mean, this is what I set out to do to begin with. Okay. So um, I'm, 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 like, I'm anxious to see, to take it all the way, to see what um, the, the, the outcome is. Because for me, it's no longer about, you know, it's no longer a competition. It's just a journey, you know? Um, so I'm just venturing in this journey to see how it everything just pans out, you know. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited to be to share the big stage with the Super Mega and the other top the, the other top three contestants, Oxygen and Aaliyah. So it's gonna be a vibe. It's gonna be a total vibe. Okay, yeah, I can actually feel your energy, man. <laughs> it's gonna be a vibe. And okay, so what I want to find out now is that okay, now we've gone through all these people, through all these journeys, and now we are nearing the end. In fact, the end is near, not in a bad way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not in a bad way though. So I want to find out that, what are the lessons that you've learned throughout this whole journey? Um, if you start something, you have to finish it. Don't just start something to just, you know, I want to see how far I can get. If you start something, you got to take it all the way. You know, um, I've seen people in this competition that started it to, no, I want to see how I can sing, but I want to see how far I can go in a competition. For me, it was never 
you know, I'm such a perfectionist. It was never enough for me to just, you know, be in the top 10, top five. For me, it was like all or nothing, you know? Okay. So if you start something, you got to take it all the way. You got to see it through, you know? So yeah, that's the lesson that I've learned in this competition, bro. And that's a good lesson to, to learn, all bro. All the way. <laughs> all right, thank you, man. You got to let you I get back to your, uh, yeah, 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 get out of here, get out of here. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, <all right. laughs> Hello and welcome to another day in the spotlight made brighter by MTN Pulse. My name is Tamsang Nasbanze, AKA the courtesy of hip hop and I'm your host. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now host with not so the most. So I wanna know, that. <laughs> I wanna understand, okay. Whenever there is a journey sure. that is supposed to be taken by anyone or just practically anything. Sure. So th I know that there are some lessons that people yeah. grasp from whatever they were doing. Yeah. So what lessons are you gonna be taking from this uh, competition? First one is based on the, the number of votes that came in for season one of the Spotlight, Eswatini is ready. You know what I mean? There was once upon a time where Swazis didn't care about what Swazis were doing, especially in the entertainment space. The first and most important lesson for me right now is that Eswatini is ready. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are presenting, on Saturday we're presenting Eswatini with your with your, with your next superstar, and we're just hoping that you guys will carry this person and take them all the way to the top. Um, other lessons that we're, we're, we're coming out with out of this one is just that, you know, uh, patience, uh, perseverance. There have been days, you, you, know, you know, it's very, can be very discouraging when you're doing something of this, of this nature. And people have their own opinions. Their opi uh, opinions are, they're, they're, they're baseless. They've got no facts. They've got no truth behind them but people just feel like they can say whatever they want to say uh you know um, and they don't really they're not looking at the bigger picture they're just thinking about how they feel or what they think at the moment yeah. so once again it, it was just a reminder that um no matter the obstacles no matter what's going on around the dream just don't lose sight sight of the goal focus keep going do whatever you got to do uh and 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 you know, the people the people will always be entitled their, to their opinion, but just because it's it's your opinion, even if it's a popular opinion, even if you get people uh, supporting your opinion, it doesn't take away from the vision that we had when we started this journey. You know what I mean? So the, those those are sort of like just like the the, the two big takeouts. One, Eswatini is definitely ready. Two. You know, people will always talk. And 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 and, and back in the day, uh, a, a good a good friend of mine used to say, "Dogs don't bark at a, at a car that's not moving." Yeah, true. So when the dogs bark, you must know that the car's moving. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm that moving. I'm that friend, by the way. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so keep moving. You gotta understand, bro. I just, that's okay, right. Okay, okay. So thank you very much. And um, I know that people have been seeing you on TV. And you like, I, I I thought right up, but now you tell me that nah, bro. I don't know no cameras. I don't oh, want no what? cameras. <laughs> You know, you know, between you and I, between you and I, as as a director, you've done music videos with me, you've done short films and all of that. You yeah. know, once I see a camera, I'm like, when am I on? Put me on. You know what I mean? So, exactly, exactly. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, man. No. Thanks a lot. Dial star 411 hash to open a whole new world of call, text, and data packages to suit your budget and communications needs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we had for you right here in this Watini Lifestyle. We came here to see how these young people are doing in the rehearsal, and they just told us what their general expectations are and what they are hoping to achieve. And then, and I don't even know what they'll do because I know that only one person is supposed to be going through in the final. Some one person is supposed to be making it. One person is going to be defeating everybody that came through for the competition since its inception. So it's been a long journey for them. It's been a long journey for me also. I've been I've been hoping that one one of my people actually gets to win. So it's actually a cool thing, a cool thing to to anticipate and a cool thing to really really witness. So uh, what also if you want to see an exclusive, a very very exclusive interview with all the top three contestants that are actually gunning for the titles. Make sure that you tune in on Saturday for the bit down that plays at 8 p.m. right here on your Swedish TV. But for me, the first cool young you, that is it. That's what we have for you. So we're going to bring it back to Lindy. But for me, right here at MTN headquarters, it's love and light.
Oh, thank you so much, MT, and for that opportunity for MSWD, especially the youth, well, but Tata will be a socialism, seeing a certain lifestyle, since it's a bong and over, go more some common word for it. See, better little talent which people can never see. I, we know good thing is how wind up our own people got an opportunity to visit your Masala cooking house, but Labanya Abaga Kun. So, to you at home, I hope you had fun watching them as they prepare for the finale. Thank you so much. I have to go, and normally when I go, I'm so going to go, guys. I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to go, guys. Oh. I'm your host, Linda Matanja. We go nonsense by now and now. Motla, no less than um, Lena Goshen Jagutinanga be quena in my episode. Lua Missil, they're there on YouTube. Good night, Tiku Panana, go Facebook so you can check us. But for tonight, out in a little bandla, let us start in the last stars to go to a mago again. Lifestyle was brought to you by KFC. It's finger looking good.